hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to do very interesting stuff we are going to do while coding a working screen with yaml and then play out that into power apps so here comes like where low code platform meets white code so where we are going to build our power canvas app with an intuitive form with a good looking screen and that into minutes so right now i'm into my power apps this screen let's make a plan like it's very good it's amazing but uh when we say like building out any canvas app for our solution it actually lacks uh, the intuitive development of forms so where like we standardly we get one gallery and the left navigation and the same standard boring form so how to make those form interesting or looking very beautiful so that's we are going to take a look without doing actual programming or without doing any actual hustle of drag and drop and then providing styles so in minutes we are going to build a beautiful form for our application so i will go to apps first of all i will just open this layout and start with the page design and over here i will choose blank canvas app so we are into our app so when i say white coding so white coding is a modern intuitive way of building out apps in a fast and expressive way with a low friction with low writing of codes just give your prompts with your requirements to the these tools which actually does, does the work for you building out the code entirely so i'm going to tell you three tools today for doing this rapid application development in the context of power apps we are going to take a look on how these tools are generating yaml ready code for us so till now until we have yaml we were not having any way to like do the coding into our power apps so right now if i go to this three dots and say view code you will see something yaml some code was over there so we are going to play with this code we are going to paste our code which is generated by our white coding platforms like Vercel, bolt and replit so these platforms will generate the yaml for us for our use case for our requirement and we are going to just paste that and have that working solution in place in a few minutes so i will start with the tool which i use a lot that is v0 from versil so you can just go to this v0.dev and you will have this the white coding platform with a beautiful gui you can create start creating your project you can describe your problem and then you will in real time you will see the applications to be inbuilt so for the full stack developers it's kind of like heaven where you can just write in your write in your problem statement and it will generate the solution into react with help of Next.js, and that's a readily deployable solution which, which you can define with your i mean following prompts but it's pretty much ready you can start using that solution i will describe our problem statement to all these three tools and we'll see like who gives us best yaml to be inserted into our power apps so i will start with one use case of developing a social feed for my company which talks about where the users employees can post can react to those posts and can write or reply to those posts so i will just write this use case to my this virtual platform and let's see how it behaves so i am writing this problem statement feature post content create text post hashtag support rich medias upload files videos document employees can react celebrate insightful reactions and full commenting that one if i just say enter i will start getting my required application and by default it will use this you can see like page.tsx is using react to build out that and in preview i can see like how my requirement is being turned into the full fledged application and it takes i mean hardly like one or two minutes to provision this entire code in the preview which you can share so right now i haven't specified that i need a power app screen or that should be into yaml so we'll take a look once this application is ready it's just giving you a context that how this virtual v0 works as an white coding tool like where on providing your requirement you have everything handy in your place with which you can directly run which you can directly like use into your environment where you do a refining on top of that it's not like that you just copy the code and then put into it that so you have to refine it you have to like uh, brand it based on your company's requirement but it cuts down a lot, lot of development effort of up to 80 percent so you can see i got this fully functional application that is related to social feed where i can post 
upload for those and then react to others some other posts and everything inside my code i can share this to my team i can download the code on sharing it gives me a copy link url which you can just share within your team to collaborate better on the same project and this tool is a paid tool like it comes with a free credit so you can build out four or five applications based on your based on your complexity and then you have to pay like if you wish to use this tool to build out the applications for you but it's kind of very good so if i give this a follow up follow up prompt that i need just yaml that can be inserted into my power apps and over here if you just do this it may give you a yaml file but that may the structure may not fit into what we are looking for into our power apps so over here you can see like the name post column names and this structure if you open any of your existing screen into power app so if i go to my existing application then you will see that we have like a lot of different sort of syntax like where we have this controls in place so better to provide a simple screen to our this solution so that they can know that okay we are looking this sort of snippet so it's very good like just grab any sample screen or just create a sample screen using start with page design or start with your data source so it will generate the gallery and all those inserted controls so you can just grab that sample screen and then put that into your white coding platforms like versal so i will just copy this go to this three dots and view code and copy this code and over here i will just provide to my this platform that okay the sample screen is here just update your yaml based on it so i just provided this my sample so that i can directly get all the required yaml file and i can directly paste it so it understood the sample provided it corrected the variable name it corrected the nested control the children controls which can be fit into my this syntactical correct requirement so based on our provided screen it updated the yaml to match the power apps pattern and properties so now we can copy this and we will just take a shot that we can able to copy that into our apps or not so i will just click on these three dots on any existing application and then just try pasting and we got error and that is good that we got error because we have to modify we have to make our this prompt smart so that we can provide these errors to our versal application again and i will just paste this this is give me this error so it can define our again yaml code better so it's a back and forth of like one or two times where you provide the errors what you get so that it can correct out the properties and the children controls and once you have the proper output then you can try pasting it into your power apps so it has corrected the error which we got now we are expecting that we should able to copy the yaml generated yaml code and i have just pasted it let's see like if we get our social feed screen ready or not so we got our screen created so that's nice and there are small errors into it because some properties must have not properly read or created so i can correct that manually but still i saved a lot of time in designing the screen so i'll just say okay multi line and the other error i will just fix that out as regular so now i have this like uh, basic layout created for me so i will try it let's see if that works i will say it's a test ai learning using my code platform and once i click outside i got this post button i can actually like uh, fix the layout of small here and there so that it can look pretty and over here i can like i can share i can write the comments so basically like whatever i need to start my social feed into power apps i have that already provisioned in just few minutes and i can also going forward like give it 
the more advanced prompts just to refine just to tell that okay i have this generated code now now built on top of that just improve the ui so i will ask my tool again just to make a ui more intuitive so let's see so as a follow-up i will say like make it more beautiful and brand color you can paste the image of your company's any app if you wish to like uh, just share just to put the branding color so i'll say like blue and with more aesthetic look it will generate the new code and that code will be like more more or less like uh, would be much properly laid out in a proper icon and branding base so it again reads out everything and then once we are ready we can start pulling this code up and start pasting into our power apps again so it generated and now i will try pasting that again as a new screen i'll paste this code and we'll see how the look and feel has been changed by this tool based on our requirement now you see i have this based out as in with a blue branding color and also i have this avatar of users who are writing or contributing to this post and this post also has this the other button like uh, which has the icon on it so test post and, and i click outside i can share it and it shows this these button with the tags and these things you can define actually like this is tied up to one of the test collections and you can very well tie these up to your actual data where this is a gallery control so you can tie up your gallery control to actual data source like whether sharepoint or any data was stable so you can do that but the point over here is we can wipe code our yaml power app screen into few minutes which can look beautiful which can remove or cut down our hustle of placing the control in a responsive containers which can actually uh, respect all the screens so this cut downs a lot of development effort and the intent is to give you a, a this idea how you can build out the, these quick apps in no time and the other tools which i wanted to talk about is bolt bolt.new again like it's again a platform which can where you can specify your requirement it will give you it will provision the entire application for you in your desired language and that can be deployed as well shared across team for the better collaboration which can cut down your coding or development effort and there is one more that is replit and replit again like it's it's actually majorly like tied up with python so like if you wish to like build out the applications targeting python language and you want to automate the deployments and check in check out with the live git then this is the right platform so you can pick the platform or the development ai tool for you which is right and which is cost effective as well so for me like i work with this versal a lot which helps me out like building out these applications very quickly in a static proper manner if you also want to do by vibe coding in power platform then start using these tools i'm not undermining this uh, power platform this design describe your problem and then just get it started it does like a lot of things by itself like creating the entire solution package with a flow with the requirement with the data tables it creates its provision everything automatically but it lacks into development of any intuitive power canvas apps which you have to again like go by yourself and build out the application so these tools can be very handy can be very helpful going forward so that was the intent for this video to make you familiarize with this pipe coding tools which can improve your efficiency and as well as productivity and the quality of work as well. So if you have any questions on these tools or if you wish to like learn more about it, then please do drop your comments. I'll try to answer. That is it for today's video. Thank you.